All right, guys, this is going to be a quick how-to video for the Marshall Putnam 4-H STEM After School Group Tetra Kite Project. Um, everybody will be getting a set of these instructions. Yours will be a double-sided black and white. I'm going to be using the single-sided for the demonstration just because it's easier for me to flip. Everybody will also be getting their own Ziploc bag. Inside the bag, you're going to have two sheets of tissue paper folded up. You're going to have 24 black plastic drinking straws. You're going to have a piece of flagging tape that we're going to use for the tail on our kite. And you're going to have two spools of this string. One of them is a bigger spool. One of them is a little bit smaller spool. We'll start off with the smaller spool. And the last thing in your kit is the pattern for cutting out the tissue paper. We'll get that in video two. Start off, we're going to need six of our straws. I want in the small spool of string um, with the string. If you grab it in the middle and start pulling, it's going to tie itself in a knot. The best way to unspool this string is to put it around your fingers like this. Start with the loose end and pull off what you need. Small spool should have just about nine feet of string on it, which is enough to do the first tetrahedron for your tetra kite. So there we go. I've got it all the way out. No knots in it. Good piece of string to use. All right, we're going to grab our yardstick. Our first piece of string is going to be a full 36 inches. Um, the short spool of string in your kit is plenty long, so if you go a little bit over, that's going to be better than going short. We'll measure off 36 inches, cut our first piece. Once we've got our first piece of string, we're going to take three of our six drinking straws. We're going to thread this piece of string through those three straws. There's one. There's two. three. All right. You got three straws along our string. We're going to bring these up into a triangle shape. You only need about a few inches of string hanging out of the one end, just enough to tie a knot with. We're going to bring these up into a triangle shape. You should have at least 12 inches of string left over. So like we got 14 so we're good there and we're going to tie a knot right where the two pieces of string come up out of the straw and meet each other we'll double knot that that's our first piece we don't want it so tight that it's going to twist the triangle but we want it snug enough that it's not loose we want just a good solid triangle there For our next step, we're going to take that spool of string or our piece of unspooled string again, and we're going to measure off 14 inches of it. Cut off a 14 inch piece. We're going to tie this to one of the other two corners that don't have a tail coming out of it. So there's our tail coming out of the top. I'm going to tie it down here on this bottom corner. Again, keep your string pretty short when you tie the knot. You don't want to waste a whole lot of string around this knot. Tie it in there with a good double knot. All right, so now I've got my triangle facing to my right. 
I've got two strings coming off of my triangle to the left. Both those strings should be at least 12 inches long. I'm going to take one straw and slide it onto each of those two strings. To the triangle. All right, these two loose ends, I'm going to bring those together and tie them into a knot. Same with the original triangle. I don't want to tie it overly tight so that it twists the straws up. I will make sure it's snug enough that the straws are together and not flopping around when you hold it up. Tie it there, double knot that. just like that. We're going to have these two tail ends hanging off the end here. We want, do not want to cut those yet. Do not cut those until we're done. I'm going to flip it around. Now the tail ends are off to this side. I'm going to take one more 16 piece inch of string, 14 to 16 inches, I'm sorry. I'm going to tie it over here on the end that doesn't have the tails. So this end has my tails hanging off. I'm going to take this just like I did before, keep the knot close to the end of the string. Double knot that in. Just like that. So now I've got two shorter tails hanging off of the right side, my right side, and I've got one long tail hanging off of my left side. On that long tail, I'm going to thread in the last straw out of the six. This will be number six straw. Through the straw, bring it here. Now the whole thing will fold up into a pyramid shape. I'll do that one more time. I'll have a nice diamond shape here with my tail straw hanging off this way. All I'm going to do is fold it up on this side, up on this side till they meet. Take this. I will tie it off into that corner. This is going to be the hardest knot because these strings are in the way and there's a lot going on up here. We want to get it as tight as we can though. The tighter you can get it, the better your kite's going to hold shape when it's flying. So just like that, I have my first tetrahedron. If you did it right, all of the string tails should be coming out of the point of the tetrahedron kite. You can hold it by that and let it hang. The other corners might have a short tail on them. That's not going to affect anything right now. All right, in video number two, we're going to cut out our tissue paper and we're going to wrap the kite.